Oh, you know, it's a lot of uh, a lot of games. I guess a lot of training sessions and preparation, and uh, that comes into to that moment. But um, it's uh, I guess something that at this point in your kind of career, you uh, you cherish these these milestones, and uh, you know you don't take it lightly, especially uh, in doing it at a, a club like Perth with the history uh, that we have and and the. Um, I guess just the expectations that the guys uh, before us have have set, and uh, you know, it's um, it's something that uh, you know I look look uh, can look back probably on the end of my career and be be proud of, especially uh, here with the Wildcats. Yeah, how do you reflect on the journey? I mean, Blahoff uh, would have played a big part when you came over here. Um, the standing he's held around the club now to know that you, you've played more games than him. How does that uh, how does that feel? Oh, look, I think Vlahoff is the epitome of the Perth Wildcats. I think he's, uh, you know, if you look at uh, what this culture of this club has been um, and what we try to upheld, he's, uh, he's the epitome of it. And, um, you know, I guess without Vlahoff, I probably wouldn't have been here. He was uh, the owner when I came over here. So he, he brought me here in the first place. And, um, you know, someone that, uh, you know, I definitely looked up to uh, during my career. So it's, uh, I guess it's a huge honor to, uh, to uh, I guess, be in the same um, games as him he's uh he's just uh you know he's he's mr wildcat as far as i'm concerned yeah after a bit of a stuttering start did you imagine you'd play this many games in the nba <laughs> no I, in all honesty it came over here i was playing uh in tasmania second division uh just wanted to give uh professional basketball a go um, you know, I'd working on my my degree back home and, and kind of as a, as a fallback. Um, and uh, you know, it was, it was always a dream of mine to to, to try and give it a go. And um, you know, I got the opportunity in Tasmania, and then uh, you know, went to New Zealand. And fortunately, things kind of fell into place and, and got a tryout here. And uh, you know, that was 12 years ago. So I'm uh, I'm definitely blessed in uh, in where I've uh, ended up. And you know, still still excited to uh, put on the Wildcats jersey each time. Is it fitting that it is against New Zealand, also given the recent history and even going back just to last year in the grand final as well? Yeah, I haven't even really thought about that, but um, yeah, there is, uh, you know, I think the, you know, New Zealand was the one that gave me my first opportunity in the league. Um, we've had a great rivalry over the years, tremendous amount of respect for, for that organization and the guys on that team. So, uh, you know, I guess it'll make it a little bit sweeter there on Friday night to line up against a, a club like, like New Zealand and, and the history that we've had. Plenty of good basketball left for you, you think, as well? Yeah, I'm just at this stage, just take it, uh, you know, I guess really one game at a time and, uh, and, and also one season. It's, uh, you know, I'm still enjoying it, uh, being a part of the team and, and trying to help us uh, be successful. Uh, you know, this, this league has gotten so tough and um, you just look at the talent in the league uh, at the moment and, uh, you know, it's exciting things, uh, where the league's going and, and where it's growing, you know, over and moving into China and, and other aspects of, of the league. So it's an exciting time to be a part of the NBL and I'm, you know, I definitely appreciate the opportunity. It's only two weeks into the season, but what have you found as the big differences? Obviously, the number of teams have gone up and, and what have you sort of found as the big changes from last year? Well, I mean, you had a you had an extra import. You've got uh, you got a lot of athleticism out there in the league. Um, there's a lot of depth. I mean, some of the the Australians that are coming back um, from Europe, it's uh, you know just created. I mean, look at each team, and there's there's no easy beats. Uh, you know, it's never really been an easy beat. But you know, I can imagine this team is or this league this year is going to be competitive and and extremely even. I mean, look at Melbourne and the talent they have. They've started out 0 and 2. Probably not too many people would have guessed that. And uh, you know, they're they're uh, probably one of the most talented teams in the competition. Was it always going to be the case that you'd play on this year, or did you face a decision at the end of last season? Oh, look, I, you know, I, I was still enjoying, enjoying my basketball. Um, and, you know, I guess in, in off season I was working out um, and just kind of seeing, you know, did I still have that drive? And I still did. So, um, if, uh, you know, if I woke up after the grand final, you know, a couple weeks and I didn't have that drive to, to try and improve and, and, uh, and get up and, and play basketball, then, then I, I wouldn't have played. But um, I guess for me it's, uh, it's something that I still enjoy, um, still feel like I can, can help, help the team. And uh, just finding finding my role and, and figuring out how uh, I can best uh, be of asset to, to this team this year. Is it a case of four rings are always better than three? Oh, look, I think that's always the goal each year. Um, you know, that's it's uh, you know I think Damo said it the 
a few weeks ago that, uh, you know, I think if, if we were able to get another one here this year, especially with the way the league is, this, this might be uh, the toughest one we've ever had. Um, so it's a, it's a huge challenge for us, but, um, you know, I think that it's, a, it's just an exciting time to be a part of the league and, and the Wildcats. And, you know, we've got some great, great players this year. Jamil and, and Jaron have come in and, and really set a good standard for us. And, and hopefully uh, we can have a few more wins like we had on uh, Saturday night and make this season even more exciting. Sean, sure, there's a bit of a uh, unknown with all the new people and different teams and stuff like that. What you kind of expected of teams last year, is it kind of mixed it up a bit and changed? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is probably the first time you've had so many guys. Uh, I guess, I mean, you obviously had the third import, so you got a whole, at least uh, one new player on, on each team, which changes things. And then you've got so many guys coming back from Europe that have had, you know, st distinguished careers, David Anderson, Brad Newley, um, you know, new coaches. So it is, uh, you know, I think there's going to be a feeling out period uh, during the early part of the season. And uh, it's, uh, it, you know, teams that can really get off to a good start, I think are going to be held in good stead because uh, it's going to be, um, you know, you're going to have to bring your A game, I think, each night. And we, we've probably shown that in the first week that, you know, just one bad quarter or something can really cost you a, a game for sure. With a few new faces in the team, how, how are things gelling? Is it coming together pretty well? Yeah, we, you know, obviously we're not playing our, our best basketball. And I think uh, that we're showing glimpses. Um, I think especially defensively, we've been pretty outstanding the first first uh, two games. But offensively, I think uh, it's taken some time. And uh, hopefully, you know, we played great in that overtime, scored, uh, you know, quite a few points in that five minutes. So I think hopefully that can give us, a, you know, settle us down on the offensive end and, and we can uh, start to gel there a little bit more. But, you know, the good sign is we're still competing, still uh, getting after it on the defensive end. And, and usually that'll, that'll help you get over some of the humps when you're, you, you know, you're trying to learn everyone's game and, and get the offensive flow going.